Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more. Let's play Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp Blind. We're nearly through the Green Earth campaign, although maybe I'm speaking a little too soon because I expect the final mission is probably going to be a doozy. But first we have to do the penultimate mission, Reign of Fire. Jess versus Hawk. The enemy forces have set up along an active volcano. Wait a minute. Well, is this about driving tanks into volcanoes, Jess? Can Green Earth stop them without suffering a burn? Interesting. Lava doesn't really make pancakes, per se. More like horrid, burned flesh cinders. Hawk and Flack don't seem to get along too well. Amusingly, he just kind of ignores Lash. That, that sure is a volcano, all right. They weren't kidding. Is that actually true? I mean, you might not want to fly a plane directly over a caldera. I don't know. But I've never heard that you can't fly airplanes near a volcano. Really? Okay. Yep, it's a volcano. <laughs> Beware the volcano. Interesting. He starts with four factories. I start with three in two cities. He doesn't get a big production advantage. Does he have more cities near him? Kind of, yeah, he has more cities near him. Alright, so that's how he's going to get an advantage, but... It was only rated 5 stars, and it's another one that looks like it's not going to be too hard, I don't think. I should turn animations back on if I haven't already. Oh, I think I already did, didn't I? What? Good intel. Interesting. So what is this consistent pattern? Oof, that was close. Huh. If they're expecting me to memorize where those all fell, that is not happening. <laughs> uh, which way do I want to cap first? Up here or over here? Let's go northwest first. Interesting map. That volcano sure uh, makes things exciting. Wow, this thing erupts every single turn. 
looks like it does hit the same locations every time, doesn't it? Or not? I, I'm not seeing the pattern here. I'm just not seeing the pattern. I'm not going to memorize all those spots it's falling. And it didn't even look like it fell in the same spots that time, so... Yeah, I don't know. don't know how I'm going to take advantage of that. I think the answer is I'm not. <laughs> Wherever the lava falls, it falls. Hopefully sometimes it hits the enemy and doesn't just hit me every time. Building a light tank already, huh? Pretty sure that's a light tank and not a recon. Oh, geez, this is going to happen every time. Maybe I should accelerate it. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. Okay, it did fall in the same locations that time. So does it cycle between two different... Uh, two different um, patterns? Kind of looks like maybe it does. Should have had an infantry ready to go already, but, oh well, too late now. Let's see, what next? Hmm. We'll see, I've got plenty of factories. Whenever I make up my mind, I can build a whole bunch of stuff at once. I'm still not going to remember where the lava's falling. Hopefully it doesn't one-shot units it lands on. Okay, it... Alright, there it goes. I was gonna say, it's not erupting at all. That was close. It actually lands directly on a city in one of its uh, patterns. This city right here. I'll try to remember that. Y you'd think that would destroy the city, but uh, apparently not. Well-built structures around these parts. I feel like one of them landed here-ish, so I might be about to uh, have lava fall on my head, but... Okay, it lands right next to the bridge. I'm starting to learn some of these locations, kind of, if I see them enough times. Looks like he's got more stuff coming at me from the east, so... That's where I'll send my newly manufactured reinforcements. Let's build a tank next. And of course we've always got the old decoy ploy. Here he comes. I think it's going to land on the city this time, which means I can start capping the city next turn. Yeah, it lands right on it. I don't understand that. How is that city still standing if it gets lava rained on it constantly?
Oh look, don't you want to attack this fresh juicy APC? Hmm. It might prioritize actively capping infantry over transport, so if I start capturing this, he might go for my infantry anyway. Really need to get this over there to help. This one too. Oh, my cat's back. Hi, girl. You want some cuddles? I might just have this guy hold back for now. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I knew it. A lot of stuff coming this way. Run away! Run back to your big brother, who's coming to save the day. Although there's no air units on this map, an anti-air is still very good anti-infantry as well. To that end, I'm going to send this northward. And maybe another tank to send east, because that's a lot of stuff he's sending at my eastern position. Figured. Ooh. Yeah, I'm getting hit pretty hard. This may be a little trickier than I thought. <laughs> nice! And we learned how much damage it does. Five. That's why I wasn't entering that city. Lesson learned, eh, punk? No. I'll sit on here so he can't start capturing it. And since they're cheap, maybe a recon to send up there. Fighting a bunch of infantry out in the open, it'll be good at that. And another tank to send east. Boy, this is all ground combat all the time. No air, no naval. Just staple, bread and butter, grunt work. Meat and metal. 
I'll just regen that damage, you fool. Close. Gonna want to remember that one. That's one I could see myself stumbling into. In fact, I'd give at least 50 50 odds that ends up happening even after I specifically called it out. Should have built the recon first. Long roads, it's real fast. Oh, don't survive with a sliver. Die. How's it feel? An anti are getting destroyed by a mere infantry. You fool. Nice. Good kill. What to build next? He's fortunate in that he has a factory right here. He can get reinforcements to the front a lot faster than I can. But if I just get a continuous stream going, then it doesn't matter that much. Let's save up. Ooh, that one's going to get hit. Aha, you brought your artillery forward into range. Also, I forgot where in the cycle we are, depending on... Oh, okay. So, the extreme northwest corner gets hit, of the road, I mean. Let's try to remember that and not park anything else there, then. And we're not at the part of the cycle where that spot west of the bridge gets hit, so he actually won't take the hit. Oh, it's east of the bridge. Maybe it's both sides. Maybe it's one side, one cycle, and the other side, the next. Could be. Well, that's unfortunate, but, uh just have to make do and not park anything else there he hasn't committed much over here Oh, but he has some light tanks on the way. All right, all right, fine. Hopefully what I've got can hold out. All right, let's focus on this fight for a moment. It's an important one. Good, good outcome. Take out the artillery and we'll be doing well. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's let's save it up for now. Hmm. You're pretty hurt, but can you finish this guy? It's gonna be close. Yes.
Okay. It's going to be a little slow to get up there, but once it arrives, it will wreck the lights that are en route. Hopefully these guys can hold out against them till then. Not a big deal. Whew. Okay, it also lands right in between those two cities. Let's try to remember that. It does land on both sides of the bridge. One side one cycle and the other side the next. Ugh, it's going to take a few turns to get up here to help out. Try to hold out till then, men. And you took a lot of damage, but uh, you can finish this guy off at least. And uh, yeah, you, you can block. Hmm, close. It's going to be hard not to come in range of some of these artillery. Yeah, we'll just, we'll endure it. Good. Alright, this is going pretty favorably over here. We'll send another medium over that way. You can start repairing. Bring it. Thought you were going to use your ability. What was all that big talk? Is that it? The big trash talk, and that's all you got. Oh, forgot about that. You'd have to have an incredible memory to just, with a few glances, memorize every single place those fall. I'm learning a few of them. But all of them? <laughs> That's a stretch.
Do not park there. I can learn a few of the obvious spots, at least. Just hold out a couple more turns, guys, and the Neo Tank will take care of it. Alright, ah, come on. How'd you not finish that? We're almost charged up. Hmm. What to get next? Maybe a light. I mean, I'm, I'm giving it my all. I'm not holding anything back. Brutal. Well, its entire purpose at that point was just to uh, be in the way, and it succeeded. Ugh, I was hoping it wouldn't get one-shotted. Come on, I need you guys to survive long enough for the Neo Tank to arrive and sort things out. Oh, that is a lot of new stuff you just built. Okay, you know, I think we're in a... Uh, oh, right, we've got this to deal with. Oh no, dang it, I... My forces to the southeast are getting wrecked. So one falls here, and then a knight jump away. I've taken... Two nasty hits from that. Anyway, uh, let's speed things up a bit. Oh man, that that has legitimately hurt at this point. Getting two of my tanks taken down to half. Ugh. Okay, Neo Tank will be able to start helping next turn. You guys, just sorry, but you're standing in the way. Yeah, we need more reinforcements over here. This could be going better. Could be going worse, too. But look, oh, so many of her tanks. And a lot of those are because of the falling lava. Brutal. Fully charged up, but uh, I don't think it's quite the right time to use it yet. Is Hawk finally going to use his next turn? He's been holding it back this whole time. I'm going to assume yes, and therefore hold off on building my next unit till next turn, so it doesn't take the two damage. Actually, no, that's pointless. It'll just get healed immediately, so no, let's not hold back. We want a medium or two lights. What's he got? A lot of artillery, uh, AA. Let's build two lights. I'm going to want some artillery back up at some point, but right now I feel like the frontline heavy hitters are more important. Farewell. Okay. Now we finally get it. That's alright, they held off long enough. The Neo Tank's about to arrive and help out. That's a lot of crap on the way.
Okay. I mean, losing half an infantry is not a big deal, but at least he takes some hits occasionally, too. Oh, he just built a light there. That's unfortunate. You know what? We gotta we gotta retreat. Pull back, guys. We're too messed up. Withdraw and regroup. Reinforcements are en route. I know that in addition to here, one falls between the cities on one of the cycles. And about here-ish, one of these two spaces I've noticed. And then about here-ish. Okay, Neo Tank, show them your power. I am a big dum-dum. Because I've been sitting on a factory here for who even knows how long, and I forgot it was here. And that would be a pretty great way to manufacture reinforcements on demand right here. Now wouldn't it? Oh well. Better late than never. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna save up for uh, rocket artillery. Wait a minute. Did I- hold on. Did I just leave my medium there in the southeast just sitting there because I forgot about it? I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. I just forgot it was there, to be honest, and I- I very often cycle through units as a last check before I end my turn, but I didn't that time. That's a shame. Oh well. Too late to do anything about it now. Ha, <laughs> loser. That was lucky. Jeez, that thing has range. Is it time yet? Hmm. I'm not going to be able to attack that much stuff this turn, but... Eh, let's use it. Let's just use the regular one, maybe. Yeah. I always give 100%. Just because the full one is charged up doesn't mean we have to use it. We can conserve some of our gauge. There we go. And now over here. Excellent. I think that was worth it. That wouldn't have gone as well without the power up. I really need to push him back and secure this factory here. At which point it's basically over. The key fight is this one here in the southeast now. I've clearly won the one up here. There was a factory here too! Oh my gosh, I... Ugh. It was really dumb of me to be manufacturing reinforcements here and sending them up like this when I had two factories I could have been building right here. Oh well. I am out of infantry. Um, that's a problem that's easy to fix, though. So much for saving up for that rocket artillery. Next turn, maybe. I think one's, depending on which cycle it is, one might land on his infantry there to the southeast. It's either going to land there or a knight jump away in front of the trees. 
Okay, night jump way in front of the trees. Too bad. Oh, but one landed on that infantry. Is this cycle... Okay, this cycle's where it lands to the right of the northeastern bridge. I'm learning a few of its quirks. 34%. 32%, but at least then you're not counterattacked. I think it just landed on the city, right? Not between them? So I sh Okay, that went poorly. This thing's pretty in my way. Get out of my way, please. Uh, yeah, go ahead and advance. I'm gonna want to repair that Neo tank soon, but first an APC here. I think things are looking okay here because uh, Hawk has basically just given up on this fight, I think, to throw everything he's got into this one. And this is an important fight. So, on the other hand, wow, that's a vulnerable HQ. Hmm. That said, I'm already manufacturing an APC and a dude. Interesting. Well, it's, like I said, this fight's important, and it's not like he couldn't manufacture tons of reinforcements to prevent a sneaky NG drop on his back door, so... I'd better keep throwing stuff into that eastern fight, too. Maybe I'll actually save up for that rocket artillery this time, though. It's a lot of artillery. Yep, good. Glad I'm not the only one occasionally taking hits from that. I learned where they are, both times from, uh, <laughs> from bitter experience. My ability's not... Hold up. I wasn't really paying attention, but when I was fully charged and used my regular ability, did it completely empty my gauge? It must have, right? Because otherwise... Because otherwise my gauge still would have been half-charged. Well, that completely defeats the purpose, then, of uh, not using your full thing if uh, when you're fully charged. Don't do that again, I guess. Lesson learned there. Odd design decision. Remove some tactical flexibility, I think. I don't know, maybe there are actually really dire balance implications if you uh, if you allowed it the way I was thinking, though. That's possible. But then why on earth is selecting the weaker power even an option when you're fully charged? Oh well, who knows. Who knows? You know what? You're not going to repair. You're going to join the fight. Eight is good enough. This all looks very vulnerable to me. And just to drive the point home... I'm gonna throw another one into that battle. A, uh, dude in an APC, I mean. This could work, and it would be pretty slick if it did. I'm not going to forget about my medium tank twice. It was a real shame I forgot about that one, and it just died meaninglessly. Pretty dumb mistake there. 
In fact, maybe you should fall back. Because you're pretty messed up. Kind of too hurt to really help much. Now we're getting pushed back again. Boy, that fighting down there in the southeast is rough. Okay, the NG drop is looking a little tricky, but not necessarily impossible. Nice. Okay, next one's going to land west of the bridge. Yeah. Things are suddenly looking a little dire over there again. We need a lot of reinforcements. I wish I had a closer factory to this, but... I don't know if that was a worthwhile use. I didn't really do much with it. Probably not. <laughs> hmm. I think one might... One falls either here or here. I think. Let's not park there just in case. I love that turbocharge. I think this drop may work. This NG drop, as I call it, from Command & Conquer. If you're not familiar with that series, there's units called Engineers that can capture buildings. And uh, doing a sneaky drop by putting Engineer in an APC and bringing it into the enemy base and capturing important structures is a cheesy but very effective tactic in that game. Alright, now I could either start capping those, or I could go for it, and I'm going to go for it. And if it fails, this guy is going to be responsible for capping these. We're basically defeated there in the southeast, sad to say. Okay, it's between those two. Maybe I should throw everything I've got into this up here and just forfeit the southeast. Uh, he's suddenly manufacturing a lot of stuff here before my force arrives. Good. Okay, it's not helping him much because I'm blowing it to smithereens. This will have to go, of course. It'll have stopped any uh, headquarter capture shenanigans. And they'll target this real hard if it's in range, and for once I don't want them to. Which means I guess I can start capping here, and I can change priorities if uh, HQ capture looks feasible. 
But, uh, yeah, I might want to shift my focus to this fight up here. That one to the southeast isn't going so well. Dang. I must commend you. This is a good time to use it. Black Storm. The fact that there's a factory there to the southeast that he can capture makes just a huge difference in in terms of uh, the fight in that area. That said, I have two that I get to capture to the northwest, so it's not like I can complain about it being asymmetrically unfair. Cause it isn't. Good. Battle continues. That's going to slow down my capturing, unfortunately. You guys keep withdrawing. Not that this guy can really get anywhere. Fine. Attack that guy. This guy can escape a bit. It's here that it falls? There. Now. You can manufacture reinforcements like crazy right around his HQ, of course, so... This isn't going to be easy to pull off. I was hoping he'd keep focusing his efforts down here. But I guess his AI is smart enough to reprioritize. That said, now that I have two APCs here, I don't need them both to pull off the HQ capture, so one of them can serve that time-honored purpose. Here, here tanks, here infantry, come get me. You guys heal up a bit. Shame. Oh wow, I didn't think it would get one-shotted. Oh, I'm faltering everywhere. Nothing's working out for me. No, this is not a good time. Oh, come on. Oh, man. So, I can either build here to repel him or build up here to press this. I think I really need to repel him here. And I have the advantage now that he's attacking where I've got a ton of factories. That's a pretty good place for it to be. I think I'll leave it there. You plug the hole for now. Yeah, I think that the drop operation has definitely failed, so switch gears to let's cap and hold these. 
do whatever damage we can do up there. And we need to repel this, which we can. We'll have the advantage once we're fighting on our home turf with a bunch of factories in our back door. Surprised he keeps one-shotting those APCs. I know that they're at 8 HP, but... Thought they'd hold out against one attack from a light tank. One of his units there to the northeast is about to take a hit. Either the APC or the light tank. Not sure which part of the cycle we're on. Oh, come on. That was... Alright, that was good, though. And it's... The tank. Honestly, that's probably the better outcome, so I'm happy about that. Good. Alright, we cleared him out. You know what, uh... Something suddenly occurred to me. These little infantry. They make me think of Prinnies. If you're familiar with Disgaea, these are totally like the, the Black Hole Army equivalent of Prinnies. <laughs> Alright, let's push him back. Get out of here. This is not your territory, buddy. You're getting a little cocky. A little big for your britches. Let's save up for a Neo tank or something crazy, or maybe another rocket artillery. And you two keep repairing. It's a lot of stuff coming my way, but no big deal, because I've got a choke point. And factories right there. This is turning into another long slog, isn't it? Here I thought it wasn't going to take quite this long. Credit to Hawk for putting up a good fight. These two are doing yeoman's work blowing up the stuff he keeps manufacturing back here. I didn't think that they'd last this long. A lot of it's thanks to the Neo tank. That thing's almost indestructible. Yeah, let's get another artillery. That's going to be great for this situation. Not the anti-air kind. And maybe a regular one as well. Which means you're going to want to get out of the way just a little bit. This will be perfect, yeah. With two rocket artillery and regular artillery. And the rocket artillery are going to be probably sitting on cities, so they'll have endless ammunition. He's never breaking through. It is not happening. And things are going well up here. Quite a back and forth again, isn't it? Oh no! Are you ready to take incredibly heavy casualties in that little attack force of yours? Getting cocky, Hawk. Time to put you in your place. I like trash talking the AI. Yes, that was beautiful. I don't care about that guy. I'd rather reposition this turn. That needs to die. Mm. 
you can come out and finish it. All right, so that you can sit there. In fact, wow, it's kind of wide open. Beautiful. Keep it up. Keep going. I wonder if this would have been a good opportunity to use her power. I think so. Well, I can save it for next turn. And I hate just restarting turns all the time. I already do it enough as it is. Man, this headquarter capture operation might work out. Should maybe build a new APC and uh, infantry. I know I've got infantry there, but... First of all, he's not full health, and secondly, he, he might struggle. If I can get him in with an APC, it'll be a little easier. I think things are fine here. Yeah, I'm definitely repelling that attack. Hawk threw everything he had into it, and it's getting thrashed. I'll take some casualties from his artillery, but nothing too bad. Nothing like what he's taking. How oh, on earth did a little dude... Oh, because he crossed the river. Well, that's not acceptable. Okay, I did thought that the little dude was the only thing in range. That's restart worthy. The default's never what you want. If you just click too fast and hit the default target, it's guaranteed to not be what you want. There, that's what I wanted. Nothing in range of that one. Good counterattack. We are kicking butt. Hmm, is it time? I won't lose to you. I probably should have used it at the beginning of the turn, but whatever. That's fine. The outcome was good anyway. Overdrive. Build another Neo tank to send over here. And also bring this forward to continue helping here. There we go. <laughs> Such a rockin' remix of that theme. I'm gonna keep going because I think victory's close. I think if I cut it here, the next part would just be really short. Ooh. Hawk doesn't care too much about his men taking casualties. That's not going to make you a popular leader, Hawk. I'm glad that that charged up in the middle of his turn so that he didn't use it. I am about to have lava fall on one of my tanks because I got careless. Is it the medium or the light right behind it? I think it's the medium? Nope, the light right behind it. Ouch. Not the end of the world, but not great either. Hmm. 
Man, these things are strong. In a situation like this where the enemy is attacking and you've got rocket artillery just sitting on cities able to shell them endlessly or bombard them endlessly, it's incredible. Wow, you're the one who died. Unexpected. Did I not target that guy with the artillery? I guess not. What did I do with it then? Weird, I don't know what happened there. Anyway, his attack force has been completely obliterated. And he took much heavier casualties than us, so good result. He's down to just manufacturing lots and lots of infantry. I'm going to put this on this factory so he can't build anything from there. Let's park this guy on this factory. Forward! If I were playing the Nippon Naku campaign, I could say Susume! But I'm not, so I won't, even though I just did. Uh... There we go. Now it's very much Hawk who's on his back foot. Now he's probably about to use his ability, and it'll hurt losing two hit points on all our guys, but... Yep, here it comes. Are you prepared for that outcome, Hawk? Also, apparently that's not true, because, uh... I've been defeated multiple times, you and all your subordinates have been defeated a gazillion times, and none of us have lost everything, have we? But, uh, yeah, this is actually not an awful time for him to use that. Because he can't really do that much with it right now. Well, he just built a bunch of new stuff, though. Where'd all that money come from, Hawk? Okay. That's fine. That Neo Tank is still alive. What a champion. Oh, he's got really heavy defenses right now, doesn't he? Oh, only plus 10, so I don't know why that did so little damage. Oh well, it is what it is. Suddenly we're struggling over there a bit. Ugh, do I need to throw more things into the fray? It's not going to be that easy, I guess. Well, you can cause them to target you by actively capturing that. You should probably just sit there on that. I don't really have a good job for you. I'd put him here to block the APC, but fire might fall on him. It falls here and here, and I don't know which cycle we're on. I'll do it anyway, because he doesn't have anything better to do. Even if it falls on him and he takes five damage, blocking the APC is still worthwhile. Meanwhile, down here... Beautiful. We did end up taking a lot of casualties in the end, but we repelled a massive assault force, so it's fine. Yep. Yep. And out uh, my dude, yep. 
Oh, well, like I said, I was okay with that and knew it might happen. So it's not going to land there next turn, then, of course. So it's safe to move my Neo tank there. Hit my APC with everything he's got once it uh, once it arrives in there. I don't think a mere AA gun will one shot an APC at eight hit points, so it should be okay to put it here. And also, he can't shoot it now anyway. So yeah, it's safe there. Next turn, I'll try to arrange things so I can put it here to block another factory, drop my dude there, and go for the capture. We'll see if it works. It'll be pretty awesome if it does. One falls in between those two cities sometimes. I think it's going to on the next turn, actually. That's a shame, because otherwise I'd go in and attack that again. I think we're not on the cycle where one's going to land in one of these spaces. I think it's this space anyway. There, I know that's safe. More reinforcements on route. And uh, we've got stuff coming our way, so... There. Can't afford to ignore this completely just in case this gambit fails. Probably about to lose that northernmost light tank that's sitting on that one factory. And then he could build something on it. Yep. And that would block my APC, except he didn't build anything on it. Superb. Okay. Gotta get this guy off this space because it's about to have something land there. So we need to free him up. Good. Have him kill this. Mm, let's blow that up if we can. Anybody get at it? No. There, that'll do. Alright, the area is clear of hostiles. There. If for two turns we can keep that guy safe, we will win. I guess it doesn't matter which factory I sit on, but I'll sit on this one. It might kind of matter. I can kind of more easily have a, uh, aim a lot of firepower at that one, so... Oh, that took a lot of damage. Where'd you come from? Well, you're no good to me in that condition, so retreat. Well, this gambit's either going to succeed or fail. Any reinforcements I build will arrive too late, so let's build more reinforcements for the south. If this gambit does fail, I might actually call it a video, because then it's going to be a lot longer to finish this. Okay, we're fine. He built an APC up there. That's not what I would have done. He's focusing his efforts to the south. Not real smart, Hawk. That is not the threat. Oh, 
All right, looks like we're gonna win. Plop down on another factory. Ah, can't quite make it. Can't, well, hold on. We could rearrange things. Ah, oh, crap, there's a factory there. We can't quite block them all. Dang. Alright, well, we can kill anything he builds there, I reckon. And we're gonna cap next turn and win anyway, so yay! Finally! And we won in a very clever way, that's always quite satisfying. It was basically an NG drop, I am pleased. Yeah, you're wrecked, you retreat. Feeling so confident, I'm not even gonna build anything. It is over. You blew it, Hawk. You didn't see the threat. An APC, that's, that's what you needed. Good job, Hawk. We did it. I'll admit this much, Hawk. You put up a better fight than I expected. Yes, ma'am. So that was an interesting mission. It's been a long time since we had a mission that was just pure ground combat. Just grunts and tanks and artillery. But it had the gimmick of the the lava. And at first it seemed kind of unlikely to memorize where it fell, but I did memorize where some of it fell. And I did get hit a few times, but I was able to avoid getting hit sometimes by memorizing it. So it was an interesting little gimmick. And Hawk put up quite a fight, so that was a good mission. It's true, it's the soldiers who are there in the trenches fighting and dying. <laughs> I swear, you two are tsundere with each other. Come on, Eagle, Sammy is the better waifu. Jess is cool, but she's not really a waifu now, is she? I'm sure she has her fans. And she's a cool commander. She's not on my waifu list. No, he can't. He has to tsundere. You tsundere him, too. So don't act like you're better than he is. A B. I'll accept that. That seems about right. Wow. One, one hour, 15 minutes. That was a mission again. Okay, we can buy Jess. And I will, of course. I like the new uh, friendly commanders. Sensei, Colin, Jess, they're all pretty cool. We sure did. Actually, we've all gotten our hands on it now. Oh, I'm, I'm way ahead of you, Hachi. I mean, I, I, I accomplished that a while ago, Hachi, but sure. Yes. Look at all that money. I'm going to be able to buy so many maps after this. Welcome to the team, Jess. Alright, one mission left to go in Green Earth Campaign. 
Doesn't it give me a percent complete? Yeah, it does. 91%. We're almost there. And I just realized, well, actually, I didn't just realize. I realized a little while ago. But I said, I have been playing more than 17 hours. That's sus. 17 hours on the sequel. That wasn't counting the time I had already put into the first game. In which case, it makes a lot more sense. Okay, anyways, yeah, we're getting close to being done. One more mission to go in Green Earth, and then we're obviously going to counterattack and fight Black Hole on their own territory. Getting close to the end, but we all know these last missions are going to be the hardest ones. So, yeah, let's knuckle down and get ready for that. And this is our first seven-star mission of the sequel, Grey Sea Battle. Hopefully you'll join me for that and I'll see you then.